Hello, everybody. All right, so um, we are going to look at lesson 13, which is Flexbox Children for More Control. Um, my name is Miss Nunez, and I am a computer science teacher working with middle school students. And we are working with the CS Discoveries curriculum on code.org. Uh, so today we're going to go through lesson 13. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, the students had a really easy time at the beginning of the semester with a lot of the uh, beginner coding activities. Um, but as things got more challenging, they started to struggle more. And so I'm making this as a resource. Uh, I've also noticed that the current resources that you can get on YouTube are wonderful, but they are four or five or six years old. And the curriculum has been updated since then. So these are updated tutorials to help anyone who needs it. And uh, so I'll be going lesson by lesson. So today we're going to do lesson 13 um, and we're going to start right now. So let's take a look. This is the student resources page. Um, so just to kind of explain how I got here, if you go to the actual course and you look at, I wish there was a way that I could just show this as a student, but that's okay. Um, if you scroll down and look at the lessons, you should see student resources on the side. So when I open student resources, that's how we get to this page. All right, so I'm just going to close all this. Um, and so on this page, we have resources that you should definitely take advantage of. Um, the cheat sheet is going to be very, very, very helpful because it explains order and align self and all the Flexbox children that we're going to be using today. All right. Um, the other one, I'm going to be honest, is more of like a, a, a introduction activity. Um, it goes along with the PowerPoint. This is more for teachers. Um, so we're going to skip that one, but we're going to get started on level one. So here we go. All right, so uh, just to double check and make sure that we're at the beginning, I'm going to restart my version. There we go. Okay, so um, so this level, level one is always just exploratory. It's looking at it and trying to understand what you're seeing. So with this, it's what do you notice? What do you wonder? Can you spot some new stuff going on? Uh, so do this, resize the preview window to see items grow and shrink. So if we do that, we're just going to select here, go to the left, go to the right, and we can see um, growing and shrinking is happening, which is fine. Okay. Um, in the HTML file, so this one right here, uh, take a look at the items in the divider container. So right here, that would be everything in purple. Um, discuss with your neighbor what do you notice what do you wonder uh, so what I'm noticing is we have grow align order one order five and shrink so this is giving us a preview of order grow and shrink all right was a line in there too yes it is so all the different things that we need to focus on this lesson we can see in here um, one is grow all right that makes sense because it's bigger than all the other ones Align, all right, so it's not aligned with the rest. It's got its own alignment. Um, order three is at the top, so, you know, order one, all right, that makes sense. Order four is at the end, uh, that makes sense, order, okay. And then shrink, so this one um, will actually shrink as we make it smaller, bigger, so it's smaller than everything else. So you can see it, like, it's little, but there. All right, um, find the width 10% property and change it to 30%. Okay, so we need to go into the style.css. All right, um, there's a the 10%. And, you know, again, these comments are so important and so helpful. It tells you exactly what we need to do. So I'm going to change that to 30. And all right, do you guys see what happened? Um, this one got a lot smaller and this one sort of, uh, shrunk to match the others. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So since flex shrink will only affect items when there's not enough space in the container, 
This will allow you to see the fifth item shrink to allow room for the other items that are not supposed to shrink. All right, that makes sense. Um, with that, I think we are done with level one. We're going to press the orange finish button, and I will see you on level two. All right, here we go.